day there was these children in a playground in New Plymouth and they just caught one look at me and said oh it's a monster it's a monster and they sort of ran away and I was a bit sad and I was a little bit upsetting it didn't hurt my feelings it was more upsetting that they'd obviously been brought up in such a way that they thought someone like me could be a monster I was born with Miller syndrome um, it's a very, very rare genetic disorder. Who gets to go first? Me and my brother, the only two people in Australasia that we know of. There's only about 40 people worldwide with my syndrome. This is me when I was just first learning to sit. And this is me on my first day of school. Primary school I didn't really like because I got bullied a lot, teased a lot and spent a lot of time in the bathrooms crying because I was teased but I had to kind of suck it up and get through it. I love children with all my heart and all my soul. I did my level 3 childcare, came back and I found a little bit of work. I've got my little boy who I look after two days a week. Hello, can we change your nappy? A lot of the children I see from very young, they just grow up and I'm normal to them. The reason I've always loved children is just their innocence and the fact that they can love me for who I am and they don't judge me by my looks. One day I really quite like to have a baby. I've got a lot of love to give. I've been helped so much over the years that now it's really nice to give something back. Independence for me is a big huge thing. If someone tells me I can't do something, try me.